In lecture, I am going to discuss about how to read multiple files one by one. So here, this three files that I am going to read. The first is department file, EMP file, and uh, if you want, then you can read note file. So here, first to that, read all the contents of department. So here you can see this is the department table content. So first to that read this all contents when that con there is no any contents or when that uh, end of the line so that find the spaces or null so then that uh, read the next file so the next file is emp file so this is the code that i already written so first here i used to uh, io package input output package if i make that comment then here I am getting the error message on buffer reader that means buffer reader definition that comes inside import java.io package so this package that is essential so here buffer reader class that I have taken this is array type so it is used to read the text from a character input stream ok so this is the reason to use the buffer reader to read the text lines character and here buffer reader array type b1 is the object new buffer reader one size i have given so since first that read first file so that here size is one now this is stored in the index of b1 zero so here boolean type variable taken flag in a size with false so while not flag that means not false that is true so when that true so b1 content that go to b2 so b2 so first line that read so this is here department so first line that read so one by one that read the lines and here one by one so b1 contents b1 file contents departments so one by one that go to b2 so here b2 that read the lines so first that read the lines and is to into line so if uh, department has blank then that check line is the null so if the null then reading over or flag become true so not true that means false so this is out of while loop so if the file has the line so that read and line not equal to null so it not go to inside of if that comes to this point that print the first line then after that continue the for loop next that uh, go to another line that b1 uh, and b1 has the second line second line go to b2 and here b2 that read the second line store into line and print the line like that that continue on till the last line so this read the first files so when that over then control comes to this point so here this message display reading the new file and the same code here for the next file to read only I did the changes on the object name and the size is the same and uh, almost all those things are same now let's uh, run this code and check the output so here here you can see this is the first file contents this is the department file contents now you can compare department id department name manager id 10 administrator to 117 and in the last lines let's uh, scroll down 270 parallel so in the last line 
270 parallel and win that over so there is no any lines line equal to null then come here that display reading over now then after that comes to this line here this printing and uh, thereafter that is start reading the next file emp csv file and this is the contents here sorry this is the code to read the csv file like that you can read multiple files so this two file that i'm and if you want to read another file okay so just copy this content paste here and only you need to change the object name so br let's skip for here br3 and this here br3 flag has unique name because i already used that and this here flag tail now br3 this value that go to br4 now here this here writing br4 line is the local uh, string variable so no need to change that and uh, emp file that already read now next i am going to read here node file so node is the node is the text type so let's give the file name node and the file type txt control s to save and now click on the run run so here i am getting reading lines So let's uh, stop that because it and it reads multiple times. So flag two. Let's uh, check that once again here. This is the mis mistake on the here flag two. We need to give. So flag two, flag two, br four, and now it's all fine. Let's recheck again. Now this is the contents of the third file. So this is the node txt file. So this is the contents and it's uh, reading when that all done. When the line is uh, null then comes to this point and here reading over that display. So this is the code here to read multiple files in java program one by one so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see next video thank you